Hello, my people. Welcome to God's Lost You channel, the home of news. Oh, yes, I call it the home of news because we here would here to offer some videos local, especially what is happening in Nigeria. If it is your first time of stopping by or seeing this face and you like what we are doing here, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. This will enable you to know when we upload a new video. Like I said before, we are not here to preach misleading information, hate speech, or violence. We are here to inform, educate, react, inform people about what is happening in the globe so that people will be in, uh, informed. If you like what we are doing, kindly subscribe. Your notification bell is very, very important as we go. I am always here. We'll listen together and we'll come to the comments section to air our opinion constructively. Let's the issue of uh, Nam De Kano, um, I'm sure some of you know where I stand on the matter. And um, I have personally been engaging all I want is for him to come out. Uh, I, I don't believe in media show. Because after media show, if he doesn't come out, it makes no sense. People, a lot of our, our people have been engaging with uh, the presidency. I've gone to the president myself and uh, uh, pleaded for him to be released. And I have assurance that he will be released. Um, that is where I will leave it. I don't want to um, uh, put everything in the media space because it's not going to help uh, him come out. Now, I'm going back to... By the way, Steve, I hope you're happy with my responses. If you need information... Exactly. <laughs> and if you want to engage further, maybe you'll be the one to invite me. <laughs> And it will cost you something. You are ready? <laughs> All right. Um, Sonny, welcome out of the punch. Uh, thank you. You wished me 150 years, right? And uh, Steve says it's too much. So maybe I'll take 100 and leave the, uh, the other 50 so that you can share it with Steve. <laughs> um, the... It's very unfortunate that uh, um, by the time we finished with that road, that um, General Agui Ronsi Boulevard, we, all the manholes were in place. Uh, but what has happened is that they were vandalized. You know all the people um, that uh, uh, sell and buy scrap? And that's why we came out with the strap metal policy that uh, I just signed yesterday, uh, which uh, criminalizes vandalizing public uh, uh, properties. Um, so we are still thinking of the best way. What do we use? And the Commissioner for Works is here. We've been talking about it, but uh, you can take it from me that uh, we're going to solve that problem very, very quickly. Um, your other question is, where am I? Labor Party, is any Labor Party? Uh, which other one? PDP, YPP, uh, which other one? Well, um, I can assure you that I'm in Labor Party. Uh, that um, the, the crisis in Labor Party made a lot of our supporters uh, go elsewhere and like you rightly said uh, our people are very discerning and our people know those that would uh, deliver the goods uh, like our people say you know the child that you send out and he will not disgrace you uh, when they give him food even if he's hungry he will refuse to eat um, and I uh, believe that that's what has happened in this state right from the time I showed up to contest the election in 2015. Uh, uh, when I left PDP to uh, join APGA, our people followed me and I won that election then. If you were here by then, you will know. APGA had not won even one councillorship seat before, before that time. 
and then we took almost half of the uh, House of Assembly seats uh, in 2015. Um, so sometimes people don't recognize, or maybe they recognize and they don't take it serious, that political parties are simply platforms, and that uh, uh, when you model up things in your political party, you give uh, advantage and you create opportunity for your competitors. And that's what happened in this last election. And uh, my followers to join any political party that felt uh, uh, liked. And the uh, majority of them went into other political parties. Of course, the Labour Party also presented candidates. Uh, but uh, the rest is now history. So direct answer to your question, I remain in the Labour Party and any time I'm going to leave, that is if there is any need to leave, you will be properly informed. Okay? Um, Sonny, the one core of the nation. Uh, I think we've dealt with the issue of Ministry of Digital Economy. Uh, there was no uh, proper employment because there was no waiver. And... Um, so if anybody is claiming that he's being owed, maybe there's a private arrangement and he should go back to whoever is owing him. Um, the question about judicial panel of inquiry, um, I would be surprised if uh, the developer of uh, A-Line, Aria, responded the way you said he responded. Um, but I've made it very clear, even yesterday, when uh, traders uh, came to visit me. I made it very clear that everybody who genuinely owned shops at A Line prior to the redevelopment or the new construction, that they have right of first refusal. So, what that means is that if you genuinely own the shop, you will be given a shop. And it is only if you don't want that shop that somebody else. So if anybody is selling anything, he's just uh, engaging himself in an exercise in, uh, in futility because it will not stand. And I have said that even if in the unlikely event that an owner of a shop is hit by a bad or hard weather and is unable to afford uh, the cost of the new shops that the state government had negotiated uh, with banks uh, that would come and uh, bridge the gap for them uh, with uh, some um, some comfort from the state. So, and I believe that that is what stands. If you think anybody is uh, maybe they are trying to impress themselves. But let me also uh, let you know that the Judicial Panel of Inquiry has submitted, like you rightly uh, said, its report a few weeks ago. It is now at the stage of white paper. It's just like the Abia State University Visitation Panel submitted its report. Eventually, a white paper was issued. So the professor that you refer to, as you as such a person that made that kind of comment, he may be technically correct because a white paper has not been issued. But once a white paper is issued, it becomes law. Okay? Uh, so, um, I will be surprised if the developer responded in that manner because I've had an interface with him and I've made it clear to him that no new owners will be introduced until existing owners have been allotted shops. The good news is that the number of shops coming out of the new airline will be more than the number of shops that existed before the redevelopment. So there are no issues. Okay? Uh -huh. um, I guess I guess that's about it. Uh, turning it back to the moderators. Thank you.